Welcome back. So, today we've got a couple hours out here to get some work done. So, we're going to try knocking out these back studs back here on this north wall. And these are actually the last ones that we have to put in. Well, I think today is going to be the uh, the last hurrah for these little buggers. As you can probably tell by the fact that I'm in short sleeves, it's pretty warm out today, but starting to net, well, for tomorrow, the high for tomorrow is going to be at midnight tonight, and it's going to be like 35, and then the temperature is just dropping off all day tomorrow, and it's going to get down to like 10, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So. I think that's the last of the little ticks that we'll be seeing around this year. But these couple days of warm weather here brought them back out, at least temporarily. that's gonna do it for studs. Now I know that at least a couple of you are probably gonna notice that on the lower part I've got two studs in between each post and on the upper area I've got three studs in between each post. And some of you might be wondering why did he go with a closer spacing and a wider spacing? Well the only reason for that is because on the bottom when I put those corner braces in initially I wasn't really thinking ahead to how that would affect where studs would go in. Now I could have still done the studs closer spacing but then they would have been connecting into these corner braces and it would have made it a little bit more uh, difficult to put them in there so I just said you know what I think it's going to be fine we'll space them a little bit farther apart and then we can fit them in they'll go all the way up and connect between those main boards and the sill beams down below so what's next on this build I'm thinking that what I'll do next is mess around with trying to mill up some siding now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna at least attempt to see if I can mill a tapered clapboard siding. It would be fairly easy to just flat saw it so have an even thickness all the way across, but if you do it tapered, it gives you a few more boards per cant because you're using less wood in each one of the pieces of siding that you mill. And also, I think that it tends to uh, lay better together with having the taper on it when they're kind of layered on top I think they kind of fit together a little bit better as well so I'm gonna see if I can rig up some sort of a jig that will be able to tilt the cant back and forth just a little bit uh, after each pass and so I think that's what we're going to try and figure out next Alright, well as you can probably tell, it is significantly cooler today than it was yesterday. No uh, short sleeves for me today. And so all we're going to try figuring out how to do today is to see if we can get a decent method for milling tapered clapboard siding. However, before we get going on that, we're going to get the, uh, the wood stove here fired up and ready to go so we've got a place to warm our hands up by from time to time. Thank you. 
So we got our stove here getting cranked up, ready to go. And so the first thing that we're going to work on here is we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do around the mill, pick up some of these uh, ends that we cut off from our studs, get that stuff out of the way, and then we can start working on trying to figure out how to taper mill clapboard siding. So we got our cant up here ready to go and what we're going to try doing is splitting this thing in half and that way we'll have two uh, cants out of this thing that we'll be able to use for siding. Now hopefully this thing isn't going to bow too much because sometimes poplar doesn't like it when you split large sections apart from each other but I don't know we'll see. Well, opening up logs is sort of like opening up presents. You never know what's going to be inside. So <laughs> with this one, as you can see, we've got a little bit of damage through the middle. I'm not sure if that's bug damage or damage from when uh, the branch split out of this tree or whether it was a combination of both. I, I don't really know. But we're going to go ahead and use this one, experiment with it a little bit because like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. We're just going to mess around. Uh, if something messes up with it real bad, you know, it's not a real good cant to start with, so it'll be fine. I think I should be able to get a few boards on either side of this center section, so we may still be able to get something out of this after all. All right, so this is prototype number one for our tapered clapboard siding jig. So what we have here is we've got a straight line action clamp, I believe is what it's called. And so what I can do with this is I've got a spacer strip on the back side of this cant. So this, this cant is tipped slightly towards uh, you guys. So then, what I can do is I can lift up on this this action clamp and it pushes this little rod upwards and so that makes the cant level now. So all I need, would need to do in between passes is either lift this up or let it down and then drop the mill height uh, each time before each pass. So it's a fairly simple setup my only concern with this is that since I only have one of them and it's in the middle that as the cant gets thinner and thinner that it might start to bow a little bit since it's only being held up in the middle but I do have a second one of these clamps here so I would be able to make a second one of these and then have them spaced uh, kinda more evenly across the can. That might just work. I think I may mess around with the taper on it a little bit 
Uh, I think I've got a little bit too much difference between the wide end and the narrow end, but I, that's something that can be adjusted. So this, this actually might work. It's going to be interesting, like I said, to see how well it works once this cant starts getting thinner, whether it starts to bow a little bit, but we won't know that until we mill a little bit more. All right, well, I think I'm finished for today. I've got a uh, farmer's market meeting to get to later this evening here. However, I did get done, I think, what I wanted to get done, which is to come up with a, a at least somewhat working prototype of a taper jig. Day three for this week, and we are gonna mess around a little bit more with trying to uh, mill up some more siding off from this cant and our other one over here, see what we can get out of it. I don't wanna get too far ahead with milling siding because uh, I think it's gonna tend to wanna move all different directions on me, twist and warp and cup and bow and all that kind of good stuff if I let it set too long before getting it nailed up. So I don't wanna get too far ahead on that, but I think messing around with this it'll give me a little bit more uh, experience with trying to do this this tapered stuff see how it works and then maybe next week we can start tacking this stuff up on the walls This is what we ended up with from those two cants and of course some of these only part of the board is going to be good because like I showed you before there was some damage inside of those so uh, some of these we might only get a half or a quarter of the board uh, that's usable out of it, but we'll at least get something out of them. I don't have time to start working on trying to put any of these up today, unfortunately. So these are going to have to wait till next week. I'm going to try doing some of this stuff kind of in batches, you know, do some milling, hang some, do some milling, hang some more up, try and keep the, the boards as freshly cut as possible when they get hung. Now we do still have these three logs left over here. This top one, I have no idea if we'll be able to get anything out of it or not. It's kind of messed up. Uh, these two bottom ones are both in, I think are in pretty good shape. Of course, like I said, you never know what it's like until you open it up, but we should be able to get a fair amount out of that. If we're super lucky, that'll do this, but I, I tend to think that's not going to be enough. So we'll probably have to get another tree here uh, in the near future, probably not next week, but I don't know. We'll see how quickly stuff goes. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next week.